Compressor stage can suck in and then compress volume flows of between about 200 and 100,000 cubic meters per hour. All screw compressors operate according to the basic principle of a positive displacement machine, whose key element is a pair of spiral rotors. During operation, the rotors turn and the spiral teeth mesh together, forming chambers between the rotors and the casing wall. Rotation causes the chambers to move from the suction or intake side to the compression or discharge side. These chambers are connected to the suction nozzle via ports. As the chambers enlarge, they are filled with gas flowing in through the nozzle. To understand the compression process better, let's look at an individual chamber. It enlarges, is filled with gas, and then closed by a circumferential edge in the casing. The rotors now transport the gas to the discharge side, where the chamber shrinks and the retained gas is compressed. Let's view the process again, this time from below. Once the gas is compressed, the chamber reaches another port connected to a discharge nozzle, and the gas flows out. In fact, all the chambers between the two rotors are being filled and emptied continuously. This means that with a screw compressor, the compression process is more or less ongoing. The design of a screw compressor combines the advantages of a positive displacement machine with those of a rotating machine, making this type of compressor suitable for a very wide range of applications and process gases.